Hey guys, I'm Will. And I'm Ryan. And this is Tantrum House. Will and I share a love of board games, and we're going to talk about that with you today. We've noticed that there are a lot of really good board game reviews already out there, but they tend to be a little bit long in the tooth. So we're going to try to keep ours down to two minutes. We're calling it our Terrible Two Minute Review. All right, so let's do this. The uh, first game that we're going to review is probably the game that got me into serious board gaming. Well, what Will calls serious board gaming. Euro, Euro game. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Settlers of Catan. Catan. I've heard it. Catan. I've heard it both. Settlers of Catan is a three to four player game that you play on a hex based board randomly laid out. Players place their pieces at the intersections of the hexes, and based on die rolls, they get to collect resources from the various hex squares. Probably the most enjoyable part of the game is that as you collect those resource cards, you can then trade those with other players at the table. So uh, you can do whatever you want. You can trade two for one, or barter, or you owe me one. Um, that freedom is what makes the game really enjoyable to play. It only takes about 10 points to win, so the game is about 45 minutes to an hour and a half, maybe. So it's it, you get those points fairly quickly. You can get the points through things like upgrading your settlements to cities or buying new settlements. You can uh, purchase development cards or uh, you can get the longest road or the largest army. There are a lot of different strategies you can employ to get those points. There are a ton of expansions for this game. Cities and Knights, the Seafarers expansion, there's even a Star Trek version. And they all just add to the replayability and keep your interest in the game. I think the artwork for this game, while nothing spectacular, it does really fit the theme well. Uh, you feel like you're using these rudimentary building items to, uh, to expand your property and, and your territory. Uh, I feel like this game kind of inspired a little bit of its own genre, like games like Agricola and Carcassonne, Viticulture, uh, Lancaster. I think all those games kind of feel similar to this, to this game. All right, now we're going to rate the game based on our highly scientific Subjective. thumbs method. <laughs> game mechanic. The game mechanic on Settlers of Catan is very highly polished, well deserving of the Spiel des Jahres award which it won. I think Klaus Teuber spent four years perfecting this game and it really shows. Theme. The, uh, the theme for this game, uh, like I said earlier, works really well, especially over the uh, expansions that have come out. I think it just broadens the whole concept of it and the playability of the game is very much based on that theme. Playability. The game is pretty easy to learn for beginners, but then the haggling skills you have to employ and the randomness of the dice and the placement of the pieces keeps it uh, very enjoyable to play and enjoyability. Uh, yeah, the game is enjoyable, and I think it's enjoyable from a new player's perspective, from the competitive player, from the strategic player, especially from the social player. Um, Settlers of Catan is a fun game to play. Altogether, Tantrum House gives Settlers of Catan two, two thumbs, thumbs up. up.